As I mentioned in an earlier training video, you can use the variance table to be able to compare and contrast against your actual start and finish times versus your baseline start and finish times. As a quick review, you can come up here, click on the View menu, go down to the table, and of course go to Variance, and there we go. Our actual start times, we can compare it to the baseline or the original plan of our project. And you can see here that the uh, Examine software actually started on the 5th when it should have started on the 1st. Now, not only can you view it in the table format, you can also view it in the chart. It's called the Tracking Gantt. To go to the chart, I'm going to come over here and right-click on the Collapse View Bar, go to More Views, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and go ahead and double-click on the Tracking Gantt. I have the tasks over here in the left pane in the table. Over to the right, if you cannot see your Tracking Gantt, then come up here and right-click on the Timeline, go down to Zoom, select Entire Project, and click OK, and it will pull it into view. Now as a quick review, as we've seen in previous training videos, anytime you see a blue task bar over here in the Gantt chart, or the tracking Gantt, that means that it's on a non-critical path. In other words, the task can be delayed, and it won't push out the uh, project date. How long it can be delayed? Well, obviously if it delays too long, it'll become critical because then it will actually push out the project date. As opposed to your red bars, which are critical, meaning that they cannot be delayed by one day because it will affect the next task and bump them all out in the chain effect and push out the project date. So the blue bars can be delayed a little bit or a whole lot, just as long as it's not delayed too much where it becomes critical. And then the black bars underneath is the original baseline. That's where the task should have started here is on August the 1st for examining the software. But you can see it's starting later here on August the 5th. And just taking a look at it, you can see that a lot of the tasks up here aren't sticking to the original plan or the baseline plan. They've all slipped. But everything else, if we're on track, as you can see down below here in the critical path, if we don't enter in any actual start times or finish times other than what the defaults are, then we should be able to have none of these tasks being slipped off of their baseline bars here and finish on time, September the 18th. So again, you have the variance table if you want to be able to track and compare your actual start and finish times to the baseline, or you can come in here and visually view it in the tracking Gantt. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.